Hey everyone, welcome back and in today's video I'm going to be telling you how to set up a co-op server kind of um, with Postal 2's multiplayer system. Basically just how to play Postal 2 with your friends, doesn't matter if it's two or more people. And honestly Postal 2, I've been getting a really good ping connection with my friends using a network like Hamaki. So just like my follow video, we'll be using Hamaki. So if you don't know what Hamaki is, it's a network and if you are looking to play online with people, you should definitely get it. It'll be linked in the description below as well as my Fallout New Vegas multiplayer how to set up co-op video. It's pretty much pretty similar to this, but yeah. So log into Hamaki, make a network and then make sure your friend is in the network with you. My friend is in the network, but he is offline right now. So I mean, you can see his laptop's connected at least. And then make sure you of course have Postal 2 installed. And if you have Postal 2 installed, now you need to download a Workshop mod. So navigate to Community, Workshop, search up Postal 2. And then you just go to Most Subscribed, and it should just be the first one. Uh, if you don't see it, you can always just look up Nix. And it's the first one that pops up. Nix Co-op basically just adds a whole fucking system for you to play co-op on. And you and your friend both need this, or you and your friends both need this. So when you have it, Go to your library, launch the game just regularly. Do not launch your multiplayer, okay? So when you're logged into Postal 2, you and your friends are both going to navigate to New Game, Workshop, and right up here, Game Mode, it will be Postal 2 for you. You just have to click on it and navigate to Nick's Co-op, and then click Start on the bottom right. Now this will actually relaunch your game, so don't worry, your game did not crash, it's just relaunching. So when you're logged in, it'll look like something like this, and you and your friend go to Co-op Game, and your friend does nothing besides stay in this menu. What you do, the host, go to host game. Um, you can copy my settings that I have right now. Um, I just recommend these settings anyways. Difficulty, average, public listing, I have off, load intro. Do not have load intro on, you can't skip it. And it's literally like a 10 minute goddamn intro, so it's not worth having. Server name, it really doesn't matter. Password, you probably want a password. Mine's literally just P, it's really simple. Admin password, don't understand 100% what this does. Friendly fire, having a 50%. Players num limit, uh, this is just how many players you can have in each server. Mine's on four. Spectators num limit, how many spectators you can have in each server. I have two. And then you ha have a travel access limit. So when you go into other tunnels, how many people of the server have to be at that tunnel for you to be able to teleport. I have it at 50%, so half of the server. So if I'm playing with three friends, or two friends, and me included making it three people, me and my friends just have to go to a ton tunnel for it to teleport us, including my third friend, too. I hope that makes sense. Uh, no holiday events, just has it off. Uh, ragdoll synthesization, just have it on. I don't really know what it does. Um, bystanders limit, um, it recommends that you have it at 12 or less because it could cause crashes. Never experienced anything with it. Mine's always just been on 12, though. And so for the host of the server, all you do is click new game, or if you have one, just continue. And then that's what the host does. The host is going to load into his game. So what the co-op person, your friend, the host's friend who wants to join it does, is you go to join game. And then right here, you put your IPv4. So I guess like in my last video, to get your IPv4, you go to Hamaki, and it should just be on the top. Mine's blurred out, because I don't know if it's safe to share. But all you do is right click. And then it'll say copy IPv4 address. You left click it. And now it's copied to clipboard. So all you do is go up here. And then you paste your IPv4 address in there. And you won't be able to see mine. Because it is blurred out. But all you do is click join. And then that is it. So that's how you do it. Um, I don't have anyone to experiment with it right now. Because it's literally like 2 in the morning for me. Um, but thank you for watching this video. I appreciate it. I really do hope this helped. I mean, honestly, that's what this video is about, is just helping people who need help with this stuff. Um, and of course, if you have any questions or if it's not working for you, let me know in the comments down below. I'll try my best to reply to you fastly. And if I don't, I apologize, but I will reply to you. Trust me, I apply to re I reply to all my comments. Thank you for watching. Goodbye, everyone.